Design Optimization and Analysis of Braking System of Go-Kart Abstract, this title presents the empirical research work on the braking system of Go-Kart. A Go-Kart is a very small motor vehicle with four wheels, used for racing. Brake system is very essential for the vehicle to reduce the speed or to stop the vehicle. Go-Kart is a race vehicle hence its design phase plays a vital role in performance of the kart. In dynamic conditions the forces acting on the vehicle varies with respect to the speed and design parameters, our project aims to study the vehicle dynamics with respect to technical specifications and calculating the forces at various hard points of the cart, thereby analysis of the various components of the braking system is done. The brake rotor is the component where the energy transfer takes place, while braking, the kinetic energy is transferred to heat energy by the rotor thus the factor of safety and thermal stability of the brake rotor is important. Hence structural and thermal analysis of the brake rotor is analyzed using ANSYS, CFD. The driver ergonomics has to be considered while designing, this project aims to provide minimum pedal effort by fixing the optimal pedal ratio. The structural analysis of the brake pedal and brake rotor hub are done using ANSYS. Keywords go kart, brake rotor, load transfer, pedal ratio, energy distribution equation, structural analysis, thermal analysis CFD. I introduction. Go karting is one of the motor sports, it was quite popular in the United States in the late 1950s. In the later period its popularity spread all over the world. In India, Go-karting is done in many race clubs, amusement parks, and there are many karting events organized for the engineering students like BFKCT, Bharat Formula Karting, International Go-Kart Championship, GKDC, Go-Kart Design Challenge, and IKC, Indian Karting Championship. Some schools are also having Go-Kart to encourage the students' activities in motorsports and there are some corporate karting events organized for entertainment purposes. Go-Kart is a single-seated compact vehicle built for racing and also for entertainment purposes. Our project aims on design optimization of the braking system of go-kart by considering the various factors like load transfer during dynamic condition, energy distribution equation, cooling medium, and cooling rate of the disc after braking. A brake is a device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving membrane in order to retard or stop the motion of the vehicle. In the process of braking the brake absorbs the kinetic energy of the vehicle and transforms in the form of heat energy. Then the heat energy is transformed to the atmosphere by convective heat transfer. The main requirement of the braking system is to stop the vehicle at minimum distance after applying the brake, theoretical calculations are done and the stopping distance, temperature rise in disc and stopping time are calculated. The theoretical results go hand in hand with the practical results. In order to select the best braking system for go-kart, basic research work is done on types of braking system and hydraulic brake is selected, since it is very effective compared to drum brake and it reduces the design complexity and helps to reduce the overall weight of the cart. Two technical specifications. The manufactured cart is taken for the study, following are the technical specification of the cart. A. Overall dimensions. B. Brake system. Braking system of our vehicle was designed to achieve maximum braking efficiency and to provide greater vehicle safety. C. Brake pedal. Passengers cars generally use a pedal ratio between 4 to 7. A pedal ratio of 7 colon 1 is selected for our cart. D. Master cylinder. Analyzing the available original equipment manufacturer, we chose master cylinder of TV's Apache RTR 160. Since, it has a tandem cylinder, which gives higher pressure to the brake fluid. The piston diameter of this master cylinder is 19.15 mm. E brake caliper. We chose TV's Apache RTR 160 double piston, floating caliper 1 since the caliper has two pistons, the rubbing surface of the brake pad over the disc will be greater and the floating caliper applies the friction force on both sides of the brake disc. Hence, it is more effective than a fixed caliper. F brake disc. The best geometry and material for the disc is selected by considering the following. Design factors to be considered for brake rotor include 1.5 inch brake disc diameter brake disc material weight of brake disc thickness of brake disc 6 static structural analysis From the calculations, force exerted on the disc by the brake pad is found to be 643 N on both sides. Aluminium metal matrix composite, AMC, is the best material for brake disc rotor, due to economic feasibility gray cast iron was selected to the brake pad dimensions are measured and the profile is drawn on the disc surfaces. Three mountings of the disc are made as fixed support and the force is applied on the pad contact surface and structural analysis is carried out. Deformation and stress induced in the disc are found for all three models. Sample results of one model for each analysis is attached and the comparison table is given. Equivalent stress for model 2. 7 Steady State Thermal Analysis 
From the calculation heat flux produced is found to be 56,743 with M2, this value is given as a heat source to the pad surface and material properties of gray cast iron is selected and analysis is carried out to find temperature distribution in the brake disc. From the analysis it is found that, model 1 has minimum stress, deformation, and temperature rise, hence it is selected for the CFD analysis to implement the real-time conditions such as airflow. CFD analysis the analysis is carried out by using the ANSYS Fluent 2019 for Model 1. The procedure followed and inputs given for the CFD analysis is given below. The brake disc is modeled in SOLIDWORKS and imported to ANSYS Fluent. Using space claim the pad surface is sketched over the disc outer surface, this will help to give the energy input to the body, heat flux. Rotating domain, a cylindrical portion around the disc is created, since the air molecules very close to the disc will rotate due to the rotating velocity of the disc. Airflow domain, a rectangular domain is created to give the input and output velocity of the air over the closed surface, this airflow is due to the vehicle motion. Thus, the rotating and airflow domain are designed and naming is done in space claim. Meshing is done with tetrahedron elements, since it provides accurate results for small domain CFD analysis, inflation is given to create the boundary layer effect in the immediate air contact region and mesh size of 1 mm is provided for the disk to make conduction feasible. The setup file is launched and mesh quality is checked. Pressure-based method is selected. Since, the Mach number is lesser than 0.3 hence the flow is incompressible. Steady state analysis with the K-Epsilon turbulent model is selected, since it gives more accurate results for heat calculations. The material properties of gray cast iron are updated, and material is specified for the disk and air domain. The heat flux, W slash M2, is given to the pad surface, since it is the heat source. The air inlet velocity for the airflow domain and rotational velocity for the rotating domain is given. On solving the simulation, the maximum temperature rise in the disk is found to be 547 K, which is lesser than the recrystallization temperature of gray cast iron is around 723 K, hence our disk is safe. ANSYS Fluent Result X Static Structural Analysis of Brake Pedal and Hub Since the brake pedal and the hub are manufactured, its factor of safety has to be ensured. Hence structural analysis is carried out for these two components. A brake pedal. Static structural analysis of brake pedal. Since we know the applied force by the driver and force resisted by the master cylinder, these two force values are given as an input and the fulcrum point is made as fixed support. Material is chosen as mild steel and analysis is carried out. From the study it is found that the stress induced in brake pedal is 110 MPa which is lesser than yield stress, 250 MPa. Hence the safety of the brake pedal is ensured. B. Brake Disc Hub Static Structural Analysis of Brake Disc Hub Brake Disc Hub is a connector between the brake disc and the rear axle, material is selected as aluminium due to its lightweight property. The mounting points of the brake disc are made as fixed support and brake torque is given as moment input on one side of the keyhole. On performing the analysis, the stress induced is found to be 68 MPa which is lesser than yield stress, 276 MPa. Thus, the design safety of the brake hub is ensured. Conclusion The design calculations are done to find the force acting on the disc while braking, various brake disc profiles are designed in SOLIDWORKS and stress analysis, deformation analysis, and temperature distribution are analyzed in ANSYS. From the analysis of best disc, model 1, profile is selected and CFD analysis is performed to check the temperature rise in the disc in real-time scenario. From the study, the temperature rise value of the disc is lesser than the recrystallization temperature hence our disc is safe and the results obtained by the study goes hand in hand with real-time experiment.